Oh my god. What is that? Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for joining me. What a beautiful morning. Here it is at the Miner's Marsh in Kentville, Nova Scotia. It's the first day of the new year that it's actually been really, really nice in the morning, like this beautiful sunrise and no clouds, no rain, no snow. There's a goose that you hear. And uh, I wanted to come out and make my first video of the year, just doing a quick walk around my favorite spot to see what we can find. Right when I got here, I could not believe that a either a falcon or a kestrel landed right next to me on a tree. It flew over my head and landed on a tree. So I got some shots, but I'm gonna go get a couple more. Let's go. There's a cardinal in the tree. He's behind too many branches, but I'll get him in a minute. I'm sure I'll see some more. I still see the uh, the falcon or the kestrel that's up there. Way up there. It was super cool. He flew right over my head right when I was coming down this path to go sit on the bench. Hey guys, there's always so many cardinals here. I see three, four red ones right there, five red ones, males. Let me see. Here he is up there. There's a zoomed in close up shot of him. He's beautiful. It's my first time seeing any of those. I think it's a peregrine falcon. Um, if it's not, it's a kestrel. I've made that mistake before, but I think that's peregrine. Um, and that's, this is the first time that I've ever seen one here. If it's a kestrel, it's the first time I've ever seen that here as well. So either way, I'm super stoked. Definitely my first one of the year as well. The female cardinal. I'm hoping to see, if I'm going to be really optimistic, I'm hoping to see a Wilson's Warbler. Oh my god. What is that? Is that a yellow breasted chat? i got to change my focus point back to single shot. Or is that the Wilson's Warbler? No way, that's the Wilson's Warbler. Let's go. That's a lifer. And I've been waiting to get that one. I literally just put that on Facebook a couple days ago. I answered someone's post about what birds do you really, really want to see in 2024. No way. That's actually why I came out today. And I was in the middle of saying that. There it is. I've been trying to get this one at this spot all year. Everyone sees them and I just couldn't find it all spring, all summer. Oh my god. Yeah, it's on the ground now. Oh my god. Junko down there, straight ahead of me. There's a whole bunch of Junkos right there. Oh, I can't believe I got the Wilsons. Let's go. Oh, I love this place. Is it 
white-throated sparrow eating the berries. They're here a lot in the winter. I've seen them a lot this year. I've been out birding a lot this year. I haven't made any videos yet because it hasn't been very nice. Here in Northern Flicker in there. And a robin. Haven't heard one of those yet this winter. There's a little woodpecker. I think a downy woodpecker right there. Oh, no. That's a squirrel. Yeah? <laughs> How many laps are you at? Well, I think this was three a little bit. Yeah. Three and then I <sighs> cut across there and went that half of one. Then I walked a dog earlier. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. It's a beautiful <laughs> but, day. Oh, it is. I gotta take every time I can get out, right? Yeah. Chance you can get. Yeah, thanks. Have a great day. I see her every time I'm here. She's probably, I know she's been in some of my other videos. Just gonna keep walking around the edge of the pond. I'm already so stoked that I got the Wilson's Warbler. Like, I couldn't believe I got that right when I did. I've been trying to get that for the whole year. That was like my goal for 2023 was to get that one. It's a cardinal. Let's go. More cardinals. Surprised I haven't heard or seen any kinglets. The other day in this area, I saw a whole bunch of golden crown kinglets. I'm looking for some other hawks too. There was a Cooper's hawk here yesterday, according to eBird. This year in 2024, I'm going to focus uh, a lot of my birding on eBird specifically. I used it last year, but not all the time. Um, whereas this today, now I say that and today I forgot my phone, so I'm not technically using it right now. But I am going to try to use it like every time I go out to record everything I see, because that way it makes it so easy to go back and look at your um, year in, year out birding stats and stuff. There's a song sparrow. Um, so let me know down below if any of you use eBird and sort of what you do with it and how many species you have. It's really good at tracking that and it's been really fun. Today I got, you know, two new birds to this area and a one new complete lifer of all time and that's the goal, so let's go. It's been a great morning already. At this spot where I'm standing, remember in the summer I saw a least bittern in this uh, pond and you couldn't even see over the reeds, like, check this out. So much easier to see now. Unfortunately, the ponds are frozen, so there's no waterfowl to be found, at least for the next few months. I am, of course, using uh, my Canon T7i crop sensor camera with my Sigma 150 to 600 uh, telephoto lens or super tele lens. Hopefully, 2024, this year, will be the year that I get to say something different other than that. Uh, maybe not for the lens, but the camera. I'd like to get a mirrorless camera. That's one of my goals for this year is to get a uh, maybe an R6 Mark II or an R5. Let me know down below what kind of camera you use. If you use mirrorless DSLR, point and shoot, 
film, cell phone, it all works. Best camera you have is the one you have. Just taking a walk over here. Can't really do this in the spring or the summer because all this grass is so high. It's all wet, it's frozen underneath, but it's all muddy and stuff for us now. I can get right here and see the river. And I can't see what those are because it's too sunny. I think they were ducks. I heard something like a mallard. I heard them from over in the trail. That's why I came over here. There's two more. This is kind of cool. I've never actually come over here. I've only been here like a hundred times. Hear a chickadee in there. Here's the song sparrow, also very common. Since recording this video, I also found a yellow-breasted chat in this exact same spot. There's a male cardinal just sitting here so still. It's so close that I can't even zoom in. Just frozen solid. Oops. Huh. Morning. The falcon's still up in this tree. It's moved a little bit, but it's still there. Goldfinch. See the bird nest right in here? There's probably so many of those in all these bushes that are around here. And in the spring and the summer, and we always see all the birds flying in and out of the bush. That's why. Oh, there he is. That's actually a cool shot of them. That's different than the ones I had before. Maybe if I move over here, I won't get the tree in the background. This is like directly below him. <laughs> Looking right at me. Whoa, okay, sweet. Not gonna bug him anymore. Well, that's it for this video. I gotta get home and get my phone so I can e-bird this and maybe put it on Discord so some other birders in the area can come and see the uh, peregrine, maybe the Wilson's warbler if they're lucky. Super stoked that I got those, especially the Wilson's. That's a lifetime lifer for me. Unreal, so happy I got that. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you don't wanna miss any more videos about birds. I did take a last minute trip in December to the Dominican Republic with my mom. And of course, I brought the camera gear and I did some birding and I got some unreal lifers in Punta Cana. So subscribe to the channel if you don't wanna miss those videos. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.